Well, 607 just about and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month for people who've been diagnosed with breast cancer. It can understandably be overwhelming with many doctor appointments, tough decisions and treatments. Some may feel just helpless, but doctors at and nurses, I should say at St. David's are hoping to ease some stress through their nurse navigator program. KVU's Dominique Newland is live in studio to tell us more about the nurse navigator program. And Dominique, you spoke with a patient in that program, right? I did, Yvonne. Her name is Kristen Fall. She's a nurse at St. David's Healthcare, and normally she's caring for others, but she soon found herself on the other side after having lymphoma at 17 and 19, and then a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery. Kristen was able to use a nurse navigator program at St. David's Healthcare to explore her options. The program helps patients get through the process, whether it's alerting them of upcoming appointments or helping them with tough decisions. They are by their side every step of the way. It's kind of like the equivalent of the role a wedding planner has in a couple's wedding. For Kristen, even as a healthcare employee, she had no idea how much you had to deal with as a breast cancer patient. She says her nurse navigator had a wealth of knowledge throughout her journey and would follow up anytime she had an appointment and help her stay on track. It's almost like another job, um, all of the things that you have to coordinate. Um, so it, it's scary enough to get a cancer diagnosis and not know like your prognosis and um, how scary the surgery is going to be or the treatment. And so to have a nurse navigator take all of that, the pressure off of you or assist you with the business side sort of of a, being a cancer patient is um, really helpful. All nurse navigators are required to get their OCN, that's advanced certification in oncology. That way they can provide additional clarification, go over test results and answer questions if patients may be confused about treatment when their doctor isn't available around the clock. And coming up at 630, I spoke with Kristen's nurse navigator, Eve, who shares more about the qualifications to be a nurse navigator and how quickly that process moves for breast cancer patients interested in the program. Yvonne. Thank you so much, Dominique. You know